Alrighty, happy Monday afternoon. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices, with locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. Already a small crab advisory is in effect, lasting till 8 p.m. on Tuesday, as we'll be watching for gusty winds today, but more gusty winds as we head towards tomorrow as our next system will be moving in, really stirring that ocean up and bringing chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms. We're driving throughout the daytime today, so we don't have to worry about any precipitation. Maybe isolated chances for a few showers coming up tonight, especially farther to the north. But high pressure will keep us dry today with a mixture of sun and some clouds as well. More of this activity will be moving in, especially as we head towards the daytime. Tomorrow, wave heights are not too bad yet. Only around two to three feet, so advisory has not kicked in just yet, but it will be kicking in soon as more of the active weather continues to move in. Already gusty winds will be an issue too. Today, getting up to around 20, maybe 25 miles per hour in a few areas, but calming down tonight briefly. But then tomorrow, gusty winds up to 30 miles per hour are possible as that system begins to move in and bring with it some precipitation. All right, temperatures have been consistent over the past several days, though, in the 70s and even 80s, pretty much near average. As our average high is now in the lower 80s, we'll be in the middle 80s above normal today with lower 80s Tuesday, middle 80s for your Wednesday, lower 80s on the way as so we head towards Thursday and Friday, then of course sticking around as so we head towards Saturday and Sunday as well. Already your muggy meter though moving forward. Dew points will be on the rise again Tuesday and Wednesday into the middle 60s. Here's a legend right about in here, but falling back late Wednesday, Thursday, even in parts of Friday into Saturday. So more comfortable temperatures will soon be on the way. Your VNX forecast for today is so out the door this afternoon. It's going to be up there at 7 as that is high, so a burn time of around 30 minutes. So hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, shade, all necessary as so you have the door to avoid a bad sunburn. Future cast for today, partly cloudy this afternoon. They're watching for a few isolated showers that will be developing tonight, but better chances for storms will be on the way as we head towards Tuesday afternoon as well. So to keep an eye on, I know some of those may also pack a little bit of a punch with some gusty winds and hail and maybe some heavy downpours as all this moves in. We'll keep that going at least until Wednesday morning before that begins to back off briefly. We're right along that line for that marginal risk overall, so nothing completely ridiculous. We'll need to monitor the storms that will be developing. And as for the rainfall overall, some decent rainfall further off towards the north, but most of us so less than a tenth of an inch possible. Some locally heavy downpours cannot be ruled out. Middle 80s today, partly cloudy and breezy. That southwest wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour. Later on tonight, middle 60s on the way. Most cloudy with a few isolated showers. South wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. Scott's Recreation extended forecast. More storms as we head towards Tuesday. Again, some of those may pack a punch with some gusty winds and a little bit of hail. Small chance of storms by Wednesday, otherwise partly cloudy. More storms on Thursday and same deal for Friday.